back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 online gameplay tutorial. Now, here's what we are going to do today. I'm going to teach you. The, I already talked in the last video. I taught you the basic movements. Um, I taught you how to drive a car, and now I'm going to kind of teach you how to ride a bike. It's actually very similar, but there's a little bit of difference. Uh, obviously, um, you know, you got a lot more careful on a motorcycle because you can hit something and fall off. Of course, they have nerfed it, which nerf means they mess with it in a bad way. Uh, so they haven't nerfed it, and now you do fall off easier, which really sucks, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to get on my favorite bike, the Nightblade. We're going to leave this current property that I own. Now what's great now is that you can own six properties in a clubhouse. So, of course, I'm going to show you... Eric, nice, man. Hello there. Thank you for joining, man. And congrats. That's awesome, dude. Now, is it actually your number, or is it just some fake number, you know, like go suck cock or something like that? Or her telling you to go suck cock. Um, anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. Um, I would do this, you know, over a non-video, non-live stream, but this is the only way I can do it. So, yeah. So, let's say you're just starting out and you're going to buy a property. So, you want to buy a property. Okay. Let's say somehow you got the money, which, uh, don't worry, because I will show you in a later video. Uh, the best way to do some missions to get some money to so you can buy some sort of property and uh, and then of course in another video which will be the next video I'll show you how to customize a vehicle that you have bought but uh, right now we're just going to focus on buying things including you know pretty much everything you can purchase um, all weapons and accessories and whatnot so let's go with the online thing uh, remember on the d-pad directional pad you press. She gave it to me. I didn't ask, and it is her real number. Nice. Um, do you know why she gave it to you? But anyway, on the directional pad, you press up to pull up your phone, and you can use. Um, you can't use all the analog stick, which kind of stinks. But I get that. Whatever. Cause you can drive and text. Don't text and drive, folks. Um, or text and ride. Same thing. But uh, you use all that. So you, can, you got email, which whenever there's like a shark card bonus, we'll send that to you through the email. Uh, text, that see if you want to text, bring it, contacts, any friends that are online. Um, like, hmm, I don't see Eric online right now. Hmm, and then, okay, so basically, uh, the friends will be, you know, the uh, contact things will be these black pictures with a white and gray, then black background. Um, and then you all below, and they'll be at the top. They used to be at the bottom, uh, which really sucked, but now I'm just looking at the top. So you can go down, and then of course the farther you progress in online, the more characters or more people you unlock. And of course I'll show you how to get the uh, strippers contacts later. You can see I have, I should have all of them. Um, I don't really call them much, I just like to say, hey I got all the numbers. Uh, and the captain, that is obviously the captain of the yacht. There you go, and you press circle to back out of that. And you have quit, play quick job. I'll explain that later. Drop a list. I'll explain that later. Settings. We'll go into that later. Secure serve. Not matter. Because I take pictures in the game and the internet. So you want to go to the internet? Press X. She gave it to me so I could give her my friend's number, but so far she hasn't asked me for it at all. Do I smell an excuse? Hmm. No, well, I think. I think I smell an excuse right there. She just might be a little bit into you. I don't know. I, I, I do not know, but uh, I, I think I smell a bit of an excuse. Of course, my nose has messed up a little bit. I think I am getting a cold, but I believe I do smell an excuse nonetheless. So anyway, as you can see, the top three, which it'll always be like a Dynasty 8 or some kind of property bill, you know, property um, website. You know, up here at the top or on this main screen, like Dynasty 8, you'll always see, you know, that's for buying the, the you know, basic properties. Oh, no. And Dynasty 8 Executive, that's for buying, you guessed it, the executive properties. And of course, the foreclosure, Maze Bank, that's for buying the biker properties. So you got, you know, you got your, you know, basic, you know, apartments, garages, you know, and then you got the uh, CEO uh, headquarters. Headquarter properties, if you want to phrase it that way, and then you also got the, um, you know, you got your biker clubhouses, 
And then you have the yacht, but we'll look at the yacht later, that's more a little more into it. So let's go off with the basic, we're going to go kind of, you know, in the row that they brought it out, so good Dynasty 8. Um, now you can either go, you know, now you see we click Dynasty8.com. We can either go straight to Executive or we can go View Property Listings. You're going to want to go to View Property Listings, and I want to tell you, I want to show you the, the you know, the, the cheapest one that I have found to be the cheapest one. Uh, it's a two-car garage. So it does not hold much, but it is cheap. Uh, it's like right in here. I thought, oh, well, like it's, it, it's really hit, well hidden. I'll show you how to get to it um, later. But you see, what's really cool is, I'll show you directions for now. You can get directions to that, and then you press triangle to automatically back out of all. And then you can go ahead and you can just drive down. We'll drive down there because this one is a little difficult to find. Uh, it's not like it's out, and uh, it, it, I, I mean, I suggest it only if you want, you know, like a vehicle, you know, like you want to be able to have a personal vehicle, and you don't want to waste, uh, you know, all that time, you know, trying to find it and whatnot, so we're actually going to go a little bit of a faster route, I guess, I, I think this is going to be a little bit of a faster route, um, maybe I do know where I'm going, Cause it's not on the highway, it's actually under the highway. Um, so it lost you for a second. So you want to slow down right about here. The entrance is going to be on this far side. But, yeah, like I said, it's a lot easier to fall off now. It really sucks. I'm not going to mess in about that because that pisses me off. Um, so yeah, it's actually right in here. Um, there's actually a little skate park, which is pretty cool. Um, you can't use skateboards, which kind of stink, but, you know, you can use, uh, bicycles. So, yeah, so it's actually right in here. It's, um, I don't know, like this garage is what it is. Either this garage or this, no, I think it's this garage right here. Um, this is, I can't really, it's one of these two. I want to say... It's this one. Um, but that, I'm, I'm guessing it's this one. But anyway, there you go. Twenty-five thousand dollars. It's only a two-car garage. You can only fit two cars. I think it's fine. I'm not too sure. Um, so now something I'm gonna show you something that I'm gonna show you something very important that you're gonna want to do every time you finish a job. And again, I will show you how to do the you know, best way to do jobs later. Now, it says you have to go to an ATM to bank your cash. Well, you can do it that way. If you have you know, $49 or less, then you have to go to an ATM. However, if you want to save the, uh, you know, if, 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 if you, you know, don't want to go all the way to an ATM, you don't want to find an ATM, whatever, you just want to do it real quick, you can uh, go to Money and Services, scroll down to Maze Bank. Now, you see I'm using the left analog stick, best way to do it. You move around. Oh, but I can't go all the way down there. Real this simple fix. Very helpful if I were on next gen. Oh, well, good. I'm I'm glad. And, I, and Eric, I'm actually going to make a couple. You know, I'm I'm, I'm making a I'm making this a series because some people are kind of new. You know, switching to PS4. Um, so I am trying to be as helpful as possible. But uh, anyway, so you scroll, you know, down using the right analog stick. You know, up, down. You can't go left or right, which makes sense. You want to go to Maze Bank. Uh, and you're going to want to go to main menu. Um, it will glitch out sometimes and put the, the pointer all the way at the top, which is weird, but whatever. Go to deposit, and then from here I use a directional pad. I go left, down, click, down, left, click, and voila, you deposit whatever amount. You can withdraw money as well. And you can even see your transaction log, which I don't really find that that interesting. Uh, and then, of course, you can... Um, back out, you know, press a circle, 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 live circles, or the way I do it is I usually just press triangle and restart, um, you know, because I find that a lot faster. Anyway, now I'm going to show you how to do the whole yacht. Now, I'm not going to buy a yacht. Obviously, I don't have enough. I only have 1.8 million, um, but I do have a yacht. They are expensive. They are $7 million and upwards, and you can customize them afterwards. So you're going to want to go to, obviously, Doc T's, 
And then once you go to Dock Tees, which by the way, I'm going to show you another way to go to Dock Tees is uh, you're going to go to Travel and Transport. Yeah, Benny's, Allegis, Legendary, Warstock, Cache and Carry, Dock Tees, Pedal to the Metal, and Southern San Andreas Super Autos. Uh, you're going to want to go to Dock Tees, and then of course you have all these vehicles down here that you can buy. And the speeder actually used to be free. On, oh, yeah, no. That used to be free right here. Uh, I got it when it was, but it was early, early, early when it was free. Um, Eric, I don't know if it's still free for you or not, but if there's any vehicle that's free, uh, yes, like a Pegasus vehicle or something, I suggest you take it. Um, but yeah. So then you go to, you know, Galaxy Super Yachts. Now, for you, if you don't have a yacht, it'll probably say, you know, um, buy your super yacht or something like that. Uh, but I, I, I have one, so I, I, I'll do a more if you want. You know, I will do a more, uh, better tutorial later on my other character now you can actually see what it looks like and what it actually says um so you you know for me as a modifier but I, I want to get a new yacht uh let's say i want the aquarius which is the uh, bigger yacht the orion is a smaller yacht i have the piskies which is the medium-sized yacht so we go from there that's going to get way more expensive and you still you know, do all the stuff you want uh color you name it yeah, buy it, and then, uh, yeah, so upgrade price, not upgrading it at all, um, I like the one I have, and I'm just going to do this slow, I don't know why, and uh, anyway, now let's go back, and let's go to, um, the front page, and we go Dynasty Executive, um, you want to enter the site, and don't forget, these are the CEO, now, you don't really need, uh, to buy a warehouse or anything, however, it does help if you're in an open lobby, I'll show you all the open lobby stuff in a much later video. I'm still into what I can today because I still gotta make money for the next update. So this one is a million dollars. This one is 3.1. This one's up 2.25 million. And this one is 4 million dollars. Now don't forget that's his basic price. I'll, I'll go for the million dollar one because that still would cost you at least 2.5, 2.6 million because the upgrades you are putting on it. Um, and and, and then yeah, and then you go with the foreclosure. Same thing, inner site. Choose which one you want. Now this I like because there there are so many. The cheapest one is actually all the way out here. It's two hundred thousand uh, dollars. So yeah, but I, I have one that's down here because I wanted one with the gate. So you renovate. You can do all these kind of different styles. I'm not obviously not going to do anything. That's a mirror. My bad. Style. Uh, you can choose even you know, more. Uh, I guess, I don't know, ex expensive options, and you have your crew emblem, whatever it is, right now I'm in the Fallen Angels Motorcycle Club, and club name, F-A-M-C, I should change it to red, and you can put a gun lock in there if you want, that is going to run you, a, you know, $20,000, so let's run that up to be hundred and fifty grand. so that I will eventually put in here, uh, but that does help, um, well, I'm sure it will help, um, but also in the gun locker later, so let's go all the way back and let's go to find vehicles. Uh, so now you go to travel and transport. Now, first of all, pedal and metal. Well, not pedal to the metal. Uh, pedal and metal. Uh, really, there's no difference between these three uh, race bikes, except for the fact that they look different. However, there's a massive difference between these three: the BMX, the Scorcher. And then the cruiser. The cruiser that really is that's just for cruising. Uh, it's kind of a nice bike. I mean, all these are really cheap. So if you want, you know, like a vehicle, well, don't forget. I think you can get a, a car for less than ten thousand uh, dollars. However, you can't get one for less than like two grand. I don't think. We'll look at the car prices. Um, you get one for there's one that's for free, but we'll we'll uh, we'll get that later. But anyway, the cruiser that's just for cruising. You can't do any jumps. Uh, this, you know, BMX, that's, you know, more for, well, BMX thing, I guess you call it. You know, more stunting, whatever. Um, and that, you know, that you can just, well, I'll explain how to do all that controls later. But, you know, that, that that's just for stunting. You can jump, you can, you know, twist. And this one, uh, the Scorcher, it, I don't think it jumps as high as a BMX, but it does jump, and it's a little bit faster. I mean, obviously, it is way more than twice as like probably you know three four times as much but i think it's worth it i do like the look of it better i do like i mean i mean don't get me wrong the bmx bike is great but this scorcher is my favorite now uh 
Now let's go. Now, now obviously, I'm going to show you how to do it with anything. Here's you know, all these vehicles, very expensive, very, very, very expensive. Um, now, some vehicles, they all, you, know, you have to you know finish a heist or something. This, you don't have to do these right here, are going to be automatically unlocked once you get into PS4, um, GTA, or next gen GTA. Cover these vehicles Insurgent Pickup, Insurgent Technical, Factory, Hydra, Fox, Phil, and Savage, possibly the Mule as well. Uh, you have to actually unlock those in the high, oh, as well as the Prison Bus. The Mesa, the Assets, other than that, automatically unlocked, so that's good. Um, and then you have the marshal. The only way you can do that is you actually have to be a returning player. Uh, which I kind of showed you how to do that in, uh, well, sort of. I, I told you how to do that in the last video. And then, you know, some of the stuff you actually have to be on, like this one right here, you have to be on for the updates. But now I'm going to go into the more, uh, what I really came here to show you was the Rhino Tank and the Buzzard Attack Chopper. Uh, you may think, okay, great, I, I can get a Rhino Tank at level 1. No, that's not true. Uh, because it doesn't show up for me because I'm such a high rank, I'm over 800. So, um, this you have to unlock at rank 75. And then this you unlock at rank you know, like 42, 43, something like that. Uh, but as soon as you can, I need the Buzzard Attack Chopper because that does help with the CEO stuff. Um, but until then, it just get like a helicopter or something. Like one that I would probably recommend. Let me just go ahead and look at these. Uh, I don't get the Pilatus. I mean, that is that is great and all, but you know, I mean, that's obviously more expensive. Um, I would get something more along the lines of a Brother or uh, or even the Maverick will do. Um, but I mean, you don't really need to per se. There's only two that will. I mean, you can get the Swift. Um, but the only two vehicles that will spawn, like, you know, helicopter-wise anyway, when the CEO stuff, which I'll show you all that stuff much later, is a Velodis and Buzzard. Anyway, uh, let's go back down here. Um, I think it's, I can't remember. So, let's see, you can sort by price. Well, it's free, 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 free. Now, the reason that these four are free is because I got it, um, you know, for, it's because I'm a returning player. I played PS3, came back to PS4, and I got the bonuses. And this, these aren't bonus vehicles. These are, um, you know, part, like I said, it's part of the Tony and Stun updates. Um, so that, you know, those are there for everyone. Just some people have to pay. I do not. However, I can't sell it unless I put a mod on it. However, I'll go into that much, much, much later. You got all these bikes you can buy. Um, so, yeah, so let's get like $10,000. Right about here, but I mean, look at this. You can get a Picador for nine grand. I mean, these aren't great vehicles. I mean, I do like the Rancher XL and uh, the Primo and whatnot. And uh, I want to show you one more website before I go ahead and buy a vehicle. But these are the vehicles that I would be on the street out or look on the street for. Um, obviously, you can't find these um, out on the street, but you can find the minivan, the Safe Turbo, the Tornado, um, the Sultan. The Primo, uh, the Buccaneer, and the Voodoo. I've never seen a Moonbeam. You can't put a Banshee in your garage. But yeah, so if you want one of those and you want to, you know, make them a, a Benny's custom vehicle, then put those in your garage and wait till you have the cash. But it's going to cost you a couple hundred thousand dollars. So let's go to this buy a vehicle and then, uh, you know, sort by price the Olegi R8. Go ahead and buy that. I kind of wanted one, but it's like I couldn't sell it. I haven't really gotten it. So I, whenever you, whenever I buy a vehicle, at least if you know, like it's new, I always put like uh, I always put it in white. You know, that way I know. Okay, yeah, I can actually see the customizations on it. So we're going to order that. Uh, we'll order that at three three one Supply Street. So there that is. Now let's okay. go ahead. I mean, first of all, since I guess I guess I might as well tell y'all. As soon as you called me twice, uh, how you answer the phone is you go ahead and you press X. Uh, and how you hang up is you press circle. Um, so let me just go ahead and let's go to an ammunition over here. Well, I'm trying to show you this stuff as fast as possible because I, I don't want to make this too long of a video. I'm sure it's plenty long already. Um, but I'm just going to show you this ammunition right here and then uh, it pretty much goes for everything else. Hey there, it's your partner. <sighs> I 
Alright, that looks GTA, you're pissing me off. Alright, so you can go in here and you press right on the D-pad to browse it if you want. You can buy a bunch of armor if you need it. Uh, obviously, you know, higher rank you get, the better armor you unlock. I already kind of like the look of this. It looks pretty cool, I guess. I, mean, I feel like it, I don't know, it all looks pretty cool. This is more SWAT-like, in my opinion. Um, and then, of course, you can go over here and you can browse shoes and uh and whatnot and then you got uh the gear which has this heist gear you got to do you know went to heist to unlock all of this um i like this better so i feel like these are too thin um and you can have 20 rebreathers that helps you breathe underwater i'll give you a tutorial about how, how to use all of this stuff later on but anyway then you can go ahead and press right on the d-pad and you can scroll with uh, either the, the d-pad or the left analog stick um, you can look at it, you know, using the right analog stick, so get in there. Uh, and then let's say you want to customize it, so let's go all the way up to, let's go to a new weapon and see if we can customize a new weapon. Got a two and one there. Uh, so many SMG. Uh, of course, the act that you do, you know, you have to get a bunch of kills with, you know, some of the weapons. Um, I don't know, at least, you know, at least the stock weapons before you do anything. Good enough light. Sorry, this is a better light. Um, this is new. I have not seen this um, for this weapon, so we'll go ahead and buy those because, you know, that will come in handy. Um, and then you can have a bunch of different tents. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I do like that. So there you have it. There's a tutorial on how to buy stuff in Grand Theft Auto 5 online. The next tutorial I do will be how to customize the vehicles. Um, if you want any more in-depth tutorials on how to do anything in Grand Theft Auto 5 to the PS4, just go ahead and post that in the comments. But for now, stay tuned for more videos. Drop a like if you like this video. Share this video as well as my other videos and my channel. Stay tuned. Stay awesome, and as always, I will catch you.